The fans didn't roll out the welcome mat for him. The Spurs gave him a video tribute before the game, but during the game, fans called Kawhi a traitor and quitter. He finished with 21 points, but the Spurs blew out Toronto behind former Raptor DeMar DeRozan's triple-double. After the game, Greg Popovich and Kawhi talked about his return. Take a listen. Is it what, kind of what you thought was coming? Uh, probably, but I, mean, I embraced it and enjoyed the moment, and uh, it's only going to get me better. Were you disappointed by it at, at all, given your history here and everything that you guys accomplished as a team? No, it wasn't. Um, you know, um, me, it does a great job to stir people's minds and, you know, influence them to think a certain way. So um, I already knew how that was going to be the way the media was. Kawhi's a, a high-character guy. You know, we all make decisions in our lives, what we're going to do with our futures. And he has that same right as any of us. Uh, so I, I felt badly, in all honesty. Wow. Okay, Skip. Did you like how the Spurs handled last night? I did not like how they handled it because they were too nice to Kawhi <laughs> Leonard. And I said his name once, and that's the last time that's I'm going to say it. Okay. Because Jenny said it. But... I realized the San Antonio Spurs wanted last night to uphold their reputation as the classiest organization in sports, and they wanted to take the high road and try to diffuse much, if not all, of the negativity that was going to mm -hmm. aim, be aimed toward number two, as I call them. But let's, come on, let's get real. I'm going to say it one more time. He quit on this team last year. He forced his way out of San Antonio. They didn't trade him. They didn't dump him. They didn't give up on him. He gave up on them. They have the most player-friendly, conservative medical staff in all of pro sports. And at midseason, they said that his thigh bruise was no more. He was medically cleared to play, and he wouldn't play. He played nine out of 82 games for a team that had a real shot, I thought, last year to maybe even win it all. But they needed a happy number two in the middle of that because he's obviously a really good basketball player. So what happened last night? The faithful fans, the longtime season ticket holders, deserve the right, if they so choose, to just boo their lungs out at him to, quote, unquote, get even with him. They, 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 they're not stoning him. They're just booing him. And what did the classy Spurs do? They went out of their way to introduce Danny Green, the ex-Spur, a really good guy and a good Spur. They introduced him right ahead of Kawhi. Yep. And they did it bang, bang, so that because Danny is beloved. He's a buddy of mine. Mm -hmm. I love Danny Green. Mm -hmm. He will always be beloved in San Antonio. So if you introduce him right ahead of number two, what's going to happen? Everybody's going to stand and applaud and cheer for Danny Green. And then right on top of his announcement came and from San Diego or whatever it was. He you was know where he's from. <laughs> well, yeah. San Diego State. He is. A six foot eight, 215 yeah. pounds. And so all of a sudden, it's hard for a longtime Spurs fan to switch from beloved Danny Green to, oh, I got to go from cheering to booing. So it was a little muted. Now, he got booed every time he touched the ball. Yeah, they called him a traitor, too. They, 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 they chanted, traitor, yeah. traitor. And he signs deserved that because no, he, he was a traitor. And then the game ends, and Popovich walks in and hugs Kawhi Leonard. Stop it. You can go shake his hand. That's fine. Hug him, Pop. But, but he quit on you, and you know it. Pop is then, a high-character guy. Yeah, yeah, and then Pop called him a high-character. Are you kidding? High-character. I laughed out loud at that. But guess what Greg Popovich is about to be? He's about to be the Olympic basketball coach. He's got oh. to be an ambassador to the NBA. He's got to make sure that number two is going to play for the Olympic team under him might not so that he can go out with the gold medal because that's, that's a, point, a dicey though. situation. So you got to make sure all the players still believe in you as a player's coach. You're going to celebrate number two when he returns to San Antonio. Baloney. It was celebrate. a bunch of baloney. No, it wasn't, Skip. You know it, I and do I not. know it. I love and By the way, I did tell you what was going to happen last night. Number two. Two was in the wrong place at the wrong time. You, got you were wise up. not to bet a case yeah. of do on that game. I love the way the San Antonio Spurs handled the situation. They did right because I believe that what Ka Kawhi had accomplished there, he earned that. He deserved that. You win uh, an MB You win a championship. You're the Finals MVP. You're two-time Defensive Player of the Year. You're two-time All NBA. I think that deserves a video tribute. Uh, he got one. He got one. And it was interwoven with one to 
Danny Green. That's okay. I can live with that. I can yeah. they, at least they yeah. show something. Yeah. Now the San Antonio Spurs, they can't control their fans booing and calling them a trade and holding up snake signs. So and you, you get, I get all that. But this is what I want to understand. You skip and the fans are upset that Kawhi wanted out. But let, let me let me go back before I go any further. Had Kawhi played last season and then at the end of the season says, I want out. I do not want to be here. Does that change any way you feel about Kawhi? Did they win the championship? Uh, no, 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 no. I don't care about no, no mean, championship. What's the outcome? The outcome is that he plays the entire season and he wants out. See, it's not that he didn't play that's upsetting you. It's the fact that he wanted to leave your team. That's what's upsetting you. I don't care about that. Yes, he, you do. I care about quitters. This is the one organization that's never had yeah, a quitter. I just said, I just said. Had Kawhi played the entire season, he plays 82 games, okay? He plays 75 of the 82. And at the end of the season, he says, I want out. Does that change the way you feel about him? No, you're upset that he left. I'd be a little upset, but I wouldn't be calling him number two because he's always going to be number okay. two Okay, how should DeMar DeRozan feel? Because the, because the Toronto Raptors did to him what Kawhi did in San Antonio. They did. They dumped him. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. But see, you see... And guess who took it out on Toronto last night? Did he not play possess? He played the first triple double. He had double. 15 and 10 at halftime. Yes. At halftime. I, I agreed with Coach Popovich. He said that we all have to make decisions what's in the best interest of us at the time for our future. Should we quit or not quit? Okay. We can quit our way out of town. Hello, way to go. I but love see, that. The question was the end result. So you said he quit. You're not upset that he quit. You're upset that he didn't want to be there because had he quit and chose to stay, you wouldn't have this animus towards him. I, I only cared about last year. Do you? Re, re, I told you, Ginobili was playing at a supremely high late career level last year. Yeah. And I was shocked that he chose to, I, to stop after I'm last year. I'm asking you a question. Okay, listen to me. Okay. I had Ginobili and Tony Parker still playing well enough to go deep in the playoffs. I had all those young players. that I, I had DeJounte Murray. Remember, he's out this year. Yeah. He was coming alive as one of the best two-way point guards mm -hmm. in basketball. I had a team that with one of the best, uh, for a while, I thought he was the best two-way player in basketball. Number two, if I had that guy in that mix last year, trust me, they could have been a threat to Golden State. They, you, they were not afraid of Golden State. I get State. all of that, but the question is, if Kawhi sits out all of last year and chooses to return to San Antonio, is he Kawhi Leonard or is he number two? Because, see, what you're upset about, you're not upset. Yeah, you're a little bit perturbed that he didn't play. You are, you are really I'm not, upset. I'm not a little perturbed. I'm outraged. Exactly. I've never seen anything like it before. Because he chose to move on. It, it's rare that you get a chance to go win the championship, and they had a chance. And he blew it up because he wanted out of that town. So if he blew it up, so what if he didn't want out? What if he says, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't healthy, but I want to make it right. I'm going to stay in San Antonio. How you feeling, Skip? Well, better. Ah, I so now what it is. But that's not you what You got happened. guilty. Well, you have that look. Okay, well, why would you even throw that hypothetical out there? Now because it do, didn't happen that way. Now we do hypothetical. Huh? Now we do hypothetical. Yeah. Well, that's about all you got to now defend. Now we do hypothetical. Is, is oh, who I made it right. Close. Yeah. He blamed the media, too, though. I don't think that's fair. Yeah, y'all do. Y'all hype it up. We didn't all hype it up. tell him not yeah. to play. He chose to uh, not yeah. play. But y'all keep hyping it up. Yeah, the claws. I think you are the media. I don't know if you can I ain't no media. Say yeah. you I'm player. <laughs> I'm player friendly. Mm. The okay. claw sticks in my craw. That's Speaking of another <laughs> member of the media, Rob Parker is here. Is he going to finally jump on the Maybe. Cowboys bandwagon? Let's see what he has to say can next. Can you be a hater and a member of the media?